good morning, good morning, good morning. Woo! It's early. You all know. <laughs> okay, all of the secure entrepreneurs know it's early for Miss Aurora, all right? I am waiting for the sun to crack the sky this morning, but I'm getting ready. You see, I'm, I'm almost ready to face this day. Now, in this video, Miss Aurora is going to answer the questions that you all are emailing. Thank you for emailing. Please continue to do so at info at auroradayconsulting.com, okay? After the last video that I put up on August the 1st, I know it's been a while, y'all, and there's a lot going on. We've had so many things going on with real estate, and, and I'm like, wow, and this is a pandemic. We've had a lot going on, and I want to thank all of you all for coming on board with Aurora Day Consulting and becoming a secured entrepreneur. It's fabulous, okay? On August the 1st, you know, I did the video about the private, you know, having your private company. I talked about the private company situation. So you all were emailing, well, Miss Aurora, how do we qualify for the private exemption? Now, you guys are in for a treat because way back in 2016, Miss Aurora did a podcast, The Secured Entrepreneur Show. And, and I do believe it was the, it was episode number five, okay, where I talked to all of the, the secured entrepreneurs about raising capital in a private way. Now, the reason why the podcast came about is simply because many of you were already saying, a lot of the clients were already saying, well, I really don't want to become a publicly traded company. I don't even, I don't even have enough going on to even go down that road, but I do need to raise funds. I don't want to put my personal credit on the line. I don't want to um, uh, use my home as collateral. You know, a lot of the entrepreneurs were not willing to take the risks that would jeopardize themselves and their families. So we were, we were assuring that they were qualified to have a private exemption and, and did not have to file anything with the Securities Exchange Commission. So what I'm going to do now is put a snippet of that podcast here in this video, okay? And then I'm gonna come back with the commentary. Is that all right? For those of you who do not know, come on now. I am Miss Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. Welcome, and thank you for joining me here for the fifth episode of the Secured Entrepreneur Show. Today, I'm going to talk to you about your limited liability company selling securities to raise capital. Many entrepreneurs are still unaware of the many benefits that come along with having a limited liability company. I'm Aurora Day. Protecting your business starts before you open for business. Your limited liability company is allowed to issue securities. The security can either be an equity interest in your company, such as a stock or a membership. There are two ways to go about doing this easily and legally. For starters, if your company wishes to sell securities, it must be registered with the Federal Securities and Exchange Commission, simply because securities sold in the U.S. must be registered. However, not all offerings of securities require registration with the Commission. Some exemptions from the registration requirements include, number one, private offerings to a limited number of persons or institutions, number two, offerings of limited size, number three, intrastate offerings, and number four, securities of municipal, state, and federal governments. Let me explain what this is about. If your limited liability company sold interest to a small group of individuals without advertising it, the limited liability company can fall into a private offering exemption, which means that your company is exempt from having to register with the Securities Exchange Commission in order to raise some needed capital. Now, this can happen when the following are true. Number one, all persons to whom offers are made are financially astute, are participants in the business, or have a substantial net worth. Number two, no advertising or general solicitation is used to promote the stock. Number three, the number of persons to whom the offers are made is limited. Number four, 
The shares are purchased for investment and not for immediate resale. Number five, the persons to whom the interest is offered are given all relevant financial information regarding the issuance as well as the company. And number six, a filing that states the exemption is made upon the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. Now, if your limited liability company is only offering its securities in one state, it may also be exempt from federal securities laws because federal laws only apply to interstate commerce. Each state does have securities laws and they're called blue sky laws. So if your limited liability company wishes to offer stock in all 50 states, it must be registered in all 50 states unless it fits into one of the exemptions that I just mentioned. All right now, you heard it. And many of the secured entrepreneurs will qualify for the private exemption. Why? Because you will have the ability to make private offerings to a limited amount of people, okay? You will have the ability to make these private offerings to individuals who are financially astute, number one, as you heard it. Number two, they, they are willing to participate in the business, okay? And they are willing to make the investment, okay, for those purposes. This is an investment. So I'm going to participate in the business and I'm going to make this investment. Why? Because I have something to gain. All right. So, and then the other thing you heard was you've got to be able to give these individuals all of your financial information. You've got to be able to give these info, uh, individuals uh, full disclosure. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of people who are out here looking for, they are looking for uh, uh, what do you call it? They're looking for investors. They're looking for people to invest in, in, in their projects and things of that nature. However, they are not willing to share the project's information. Well, how do I know that this is real? Okay. How do I know that this is something that is actually going to benefit me financially? How do I know that this is something that I can really participate in? Meaning that I believe in it. I believe in it. It, 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 it's in my wheelhouse. It's something that either I know something about or I know some people, I know other people who know something about it. There's somebody, some place where I can go and get information to find out about this particular industry if I'm not in it, okay? And see, well, exactly how lucrative is this, okay? And because this is private, that means that once again, it's, it's not for everybody. You're not going to, and as you heard, you cannot publicly solicit people. You can't go advertising it. You can't get up on Instagram and start telling people you got this going on and you want to, you want to, um, collect funds. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't do that. What you want to do is, is get qualified individuals who are financially astute. Okay. They have the monies that you need and you can show these people that you have invested in the project already. You have invested in your company already. You're going to give them all of the financial statements that are required as it relates to giving full detail and full disclosure. Okay. So I hope that this has helped the secured entrepreneurs who have been emailing about the private exemption. Okay. Now, if you want to know anything else, you know that you can go to the links below. If you're here on YouTube, go to the links below, get some of those trainings that are down there. If you're here on Facebook. Uh, you, I think you're going to have to go into the thread and get the links. Okay. Uh, on Instagram, you're going to have to go to the link tree. Okay. And get the links. All right. Cause you know, Miss Aurora is here to help all of the secured entrepreneurs out. All right. Now, you know, you can find me, Miss Aurora day at Aurora day consulting.com. Uh, uh, secret. What is this? What is this? Millionaire secret strategies. Okay. Thank you for the feedback on the millionaire secret strategies. Link is below. And until next time, ta-ta.